Hey everybody, thanks for watching and welcome back to Tactical Weapon Combat Ready. In this video, we're going to do a quick review of this Strike Industries dual folding adapter. So, let's get to it. Now, before we get starting on this video, we want to have a quick word from our sponsor, which is refried beans. Refried beans. If you're eating them, you're probably sucking at life. So remember, if you're a loser, refried beans will always be there for you. Also, one more thing before we get started on this review. If you want to see the full video where it's the review and the installation of everything, go ahead and make your way over to our Rumble channel. Uh, that channel is Tactical Weapon, all one word. I'll provide a link down below to the, uh, to the actual video and also a link to our Rumble channel itself. Let's get started. Okay, back to the review. Strike Industries dual folding adapter. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so I kind of already unboxed it earlier, but we're just going to show you what comes in it. So we have a disclaimer there talking about how don't be stupid and have your gun loaded. We do have an Allen key right there for you. Uh, let's see. And then something, well, oh, let's do this real quick. These, I'm not exactly sure what these are. They're little pads. I think they're supposed to go either on the gun or on the stock here to prevent it when you fold it to prevent it from scratching up the actual firearm so i think that's what these are for but i really don't know so we'll figure that out later then we have this right here so this is the actual butt stock this is the arm blade stabilizing brace so it's cool that it comes with both of them um, most designs like this don't do that. So for the price point, this is roughly 200, between 200 and 250 dollars, I think, depending on where you get it from and if you're getting it shipped and sales tax and whatnot. Okay, so that's pretty cool that they cut uh, that they include both options, and then you can just undo a screw right here in the back, and then that will take this off, and then you can put this other one on. So that's pretty cool. I'm not sure which one I'm going to do and what I'm going to put it on. kind of depends on what the ATF is doing with their uh, stupid arm brace thing. Um, so we'll see what I end up deciding to put it on. But I'll, I'll put it on one of my rifles here just to get it started so that we can see how it works. Okay, So that's everything you get in the box. Now let's look at the adapter itself. Now this is a actually a really innovative design. So if you've ever used, let me grab this other one. So this is a Sig Sauer um, folding stock adapter. And with this, it only folds to one side. So if you want it, you know, to fold to the left side of the gun, this is how you'd have it. If not, then you'd have to flip it over and then have it in kind of, a, you know, have this thing sticking up. But anyway, so most um, adapters don't um, don't allow you to just switch from one side to the other without any um, modifications or any disassembly and then readjusting it. Whereas this one, so you'd push down one of these tabs on the opposite side of where you want it to fold, and then it'll just fold to the side. And then you're going to lift up. So let's give you a good view of that. So lift up. And then you fold it back, and then it'll just snap into place. Then if you want it to fold to the other side, again, it's opposite button, and then it'll fold to that opposite side. Then lift up, and goes back into place. And if you want to remove it, you're just going to push both of them in at the same time, and then they come out, and then you can do whatever you want to do with uh, maintenance and things like that. It looks like it screws in right here. And so that means there may be some upgrades that they're going to come with this, some, maybe some different designs, things like that. Um, so if we look at, so like this J-Mac one, maybe they're going to come up with something that looks kind of like that instead. I don't know. Um, but it does mean that there's going to be different options potentially. So that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's put this back on. 
So I think you just shove it in. Let's let's take a look. Should I? Yeah, nope. Yep, you kind of just push it in. All right, there it is. Okay, so that's pretty pretty cool that you're able to just switch it. Super easy. Okay, and then um, I'd say compared to these two, this one definitely is more innovative. But this seems to be mostly made out of aluminum, whereas this one is steel, so it is heavier. So that's a pro and a con. So it's going to reduce the weight of your uh, overall firearm. But I don't know how the longevity of this is going to last, if it's going to wear out faster or if it's going to hold up uh, just as good as this. So time will tell. And if anything happens, well, I guess we'll, we're going to have to do a follow-up video no matter what to see if it's uh, working well or not. So let's go ahead and put it onto one of my rifles and see what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and install it on this VZ-58. And it is a 1913 Picatinny um, rail adapter, so it just goes onto any type of Picatinny rail. So... AK, VZ-58, if you have an AR-15, you know, that's chambered in 22, you can put something like this on there. Or like the SIG, MCX, Virtus design, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and put this on. And again, it should be super easy since it's just that Picatinny rail. And then again, it does come with its get that in here. Um, own Allen wrench here. And then I'm not permanently putting this on, or... I'm not planning on keeping it on for a long time on this gun. Maybe I will keep it on, but I'm not going to do any Loctite or anything right now. It does look like they have a bead of blue Loctite on there, but I never trust that stuff since it's all dried out. I don't know how well it's going to hold up or not. So I usually put a little bit of my own onto there. Okay, so there it is. And then let's look and see. So if I wanted it to go to the right side, there it is. Then it locks in place. Lift up, then I would go the other way. See, I mean, that's just super easy. So depending on what you end up wanting. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's on the opposite. That'll take some getting used to, I guess. And then it does have a slight downward angle. So if you end up folding it on the side where it is ejecting the spent casing, it's going to allow that casing to eject properly and it's not going to interfere with that so that's pretty cool let's see can i grip it um i mean my finger is touching it a little bit but it really isn't in the way at all and then honestly i mean for me for me i would probably want it on this side anyway that way it's just easily pulled into place right there so it depends on what you want but either way I mean that's pretty cool so let's go ahead and zoom out so you can see the whole thing so yeah check it out that's pretty cool and then if you do decide to do it on a rifle they do have the cheek riser that you can install on it and again, since I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with this, I'm not going to put this on just yet, but yeah, just go right on there. So then you have a, a cheek rest if you end up deciding to go with the buttstock itself. Let's go ahead and switch this out right now just so we can show the installation of it. Which... Which direction do you prefer it at? Hmm. I don't know. Now, uh, just for me messing around with it here a little bit, uh, I wish that this was more of a rubber cheek riser, so it's just a polymer plastic right now. Yeah, I really don't like how, how much that moves. Darn it. Um, but anyway, uh, I wish this was had some kind of rubber coating on it or pad just so that it wasn't digging into the cheek quite so hard. And again, I mean, it, this is not a big deal at all. It's just 
since it is an upgraded thing where you attach it onto it, I think it should just, it should have had something or maybe have a, another option of just the standard or have the rubberized one uh, for it to be a little bit more comfortable when you're shooting. But overall, I mean, it's, it's actually really nice. And for the price point that we're getting all of this stuff, so, I mean, this you have to buy separately, so it comes in a totally separate box. But the fact that it comes with these two options right away, I mean, that's a pretty big deal for me. That way, if you are going the pistol route, you can do that. But then if you end up doing an SBR or wanting to put it on a full-length rifle, you have that ability to just switch it right away or switch it later on down the road when you're actually ready to do that. So that's that's pretty cool. Usually that'd be something, the other uh, brands, that would be a completely separate upgrade and they'll probably get you for, you know, they'll say, oh, well, this extra thing is another 50 to to $100 or something like that. You know, so then they'll just get you that way. So really cool that they included both. I'm almost always completely pleased with strike industries and what they do they're very innovative they bring a lot to the market and i think they always just do a really good job of bringing something that's really unique and interesting to the firearms market so good job for them strike injuries strike industries keep that up so that's going to do it for this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe also remember to join us on rumble we can do a little bit more on rumble um so in this video you may not have seen the actual installation but hey go to rumble watch us there until next time we'll see you later